With so many social media platforms and text apps these days, it almost feels as if you're running from room to room or from house to house to communicate with different people on different platforms for different reasons. You've got work, you've got personal and everything else in between. Well, today we're going to explore two apps that allow you to centralize all your communication, put it in one place from all of those networks and manage it on one single space. So we're going to jump into texts.com and we're going to look at Beeper and we're going to see which one's the better app. So let's check it out. So starting out with Beeper, which has a lot of advantages. First of all, the thing that I want to speak about is privacy. You know that privacy is at the very top when developing an app. So um, Beeper is very big on their privacy and their security. You can see this by jumping into beeper.com forward slash privacy. You can read through their privacy policy and they are very transparent about it. You can also have a look at their um, security and privacy objectives. You can see here that there are a lot of um, sources for you to go ahead and explore. So you can be secure and safe while you're using Beeper. One of the other things that I do want to talk about is that Beeper is actually free. It's amazing. Um, and I know that we're so used to using free apps, uh, especially messaging apps. But for an app of this caliber that offers so much, you'd think that it would come with a bit of a price tag. However, it's actually free and it's amazing. The other things that um, we'll discuss now is actually inside the app. So as you can see here, this is the interface and this is me using my windows okay and you can use this on ios you can use this on android and mac so it really is able to be used on a cross platform device so over here on the left hand side you got your menu and basically what you do is you jump in and you connect your networks you can also connect labs such as slack and discord and I have connected my WhatsApp account just as a sample. So you can see, um, you can go into your inbox over here and this will display all of your messages from all of your networks. Or you can go directly into those individual networks. It offers you a bunch of settings. And if you go up to the top of this window here, you'll have your general settings. Now going into the general settings over here, we can go and have a look at a few things such as your display name, um, you can manage your chat networks over here. So Beeper is a fantastic uh, platform. And of course, I think you'll know, I love free software. So it is really a win-win for me. Having a look at the texts.com platform, if you go over to their homepage again, security is key when dealing with chat networks. And of course they have um, a bunch of information on their privacy and their security. Let's have a look also though at the pricing and they do offer a free plan which gives you access to all of the platforms. It also gives you access to 10 accounts, which I think that is pretty good. Um, you know, taking into consideration that they only have a couple more than 10 platforms that you can connect with. But if you do want to connect with more platforms and you want one of their AI features, which allows you to integrate a chat GPT, on to texts.com it is starting at $15 a month and in my opinion it's a little bit steep seeing that you can get a free version of chat GPT outside of the platform but let's jump into their app and from the app you can actually see over here that um, it, the layout is pretty much the same I've connected my whatsapp account again and you can see that all my messages are displayed here you can also go and have all of your accounts displayed and the layout is pretty much the same the AI integration is fantastic if you are wanting to add a new account here you can add your AI integration your chat GPT one of the other things is that texts.com actually syncs with your native app so whatever you're doing here will happen in your native app so as I mentioned previously um, Beeper you're not able to really delete the messages and the media from the native app but when you're using texts.com you actually delete everything from the original native app which is fantastic so what do you folks think is it beeper or is it texts.com let us know in the comment section below and we'll see you next time happy messaging stay connected peace